for some reason. You always think that every single summer, you're gonna go travel the world, find a nice old job, have the best time of your life with your friends, and every single year you realize that all you do is you sit on your couch, you eat your little bowl of ramen, and you're watching Disney Channel for 17 hours straight. Even though I'm not judging you guys for that, you might judge yourself for that down the road. When I was in high school, that is literally what I did every single day. I was having FOMO because all of my friends were posting photos of them at the beach, going to Bora Bora, being on beautiful islands. Actually, that's not true because they couldn't afford that. But like, you get the picture. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys five things you can do this summer, and it'll just make you feel like you did something this summer other than watching Netflix. So if you guys like this video, give me a huge thumbs up. I am so excited for this video because I definitely filmed it like 2016 Miss Tiffany Ma videos and I really want to get back into filming videos like this. Also before we start the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Copper Tone. Holy freaking cow. I still don't understand why Copper Tone wanted to sponsor me and work with me. I have been using Copper Tone products ever since I was a little girl and I am loving the fact that they just came out with a new product. This is Copper Tone Glow. It's one of the newest things in sunscreen right now it has shimmer it like illuminates your body it makes you look nice and beautiful and tan and shimmery and glowy at the same time but let's go ahead and get started with today's video because I don't want to bore you guys because this video is literally about not being bored this summer so let's go ahead and get started Woo! if you don't want to be bored this summer is take a little mini road trip you don't really have to go hours and hours away I love just going to like Santa Monica even though it's only an hour away from me because I feel like I'm doing something touristy Pack one or two outfits definitely pack some sunscreen because if it's summertime you know it's gonna be sunny like you guys know I'm partnering up with copper tone for this video this stuff is so amazing holy freaking cow this thing is so shimmery and so nice and it smells really really good for me I feel like anytime I'm wearing sunscreen I look ashy this thing actually has a tint to it so you actually look really really pretty the next thing you can easily do this summer is read a book reading a book is so cheap doesn't cost anything to do if you have books laying around you can easily go to like a Goodwill or a thrift store and buy a bunch of books that you're interested in this summer I personally just love reading books or even listening to audiobooks because it really is a great way to escape your reality. The Twilight series is literally the best series out there, just putting that out in the world. I really do want to start the Game of Thrones series, but other books that I really enjoy reading are self-help books. How to Win Friends and Influence People is actually another really great book. So if you're bored this summer, read a book, and I bet you your parents are going to be so happy if they see you reading a book because nowadays we all are on our phones. Let me know down below if you guys are reading any good books this summer because I need some help on figuring out which books to read. The third thing you guys can do is clean out your closet. As you guys know, if you guys saw my last two videos, I did a video where I literally Marie kondo my entire closet and I got rid of like almost 50% of my closet. I feel like my life has just been so much better ever since and I know cleaning is probably not the number one thing you want to do this summer. If you guys don't know what Marie Kondoing your house is, it pretty much means bringing joy back into your life. So a quick rundown of what to do if you don't know how to like get rid of stuff out of your life. The first thing you do is you put everything that you own in one giant pile. It could be on your bed, it could be on your floor, but if you see everything that you own all at once, you kind of realize, wow, you actually don't need everything. So when I'm cleaning up my closet, I like to put everything that I own into one giant pile. And then Marie Kondo likes to say that you should thank your clothes or thank all the items that you own. So I like to just take a moment, thank my clothes, say thank you to them, kiss them, feel them, touch them, admire them. That sounds very intimate, but like, Clothes are on your body, you gotta get intimate with your clothes. And then the next step is sorting through your clothes, figuring out which items you wanna keep, which items you wanna toss out, 
which items spark joy and those items that don't spark joy you just thank it put it away and then of course you got to put everything away that you just did I definitely only done it to my closet this year but I definitely need to do it for my makeup and my shoes and like literally every other thing in my life like I have too many spoons in my kitchen I don't even eat at home very often and I don't need 25 spoons because I should probably be washing my dishes more often and I definitely should do that. Let me know if you guys want to see me Marie Kondo like everything else in my life, not just my clothes. The fourth thing you can easily do this summer if you're bored is make money. That's probably the most fun thing to do. Like I love to make money and especially when I was in high school. I wanted to work and that summer I had two jobs. I worked at PacSun and I worked at Hallmark as a professional gift wrapper. I'm not kidding you guys, I'm really good at gift wrapping stuff. So if you need a professional gift wrapper, I'm right here, hello, what's up? But honestly, making money is so much easier than you ever think it could be. You don't need to actually go out and get a job. You can become a babysitter or you can literally dog walk. I love walking Zoe. She's so easy to walk, and if you live in a neighborhood where a lot of families own dogs, if I didn't have Zoe, I would 100% would become a dog walker because I just love dogs that much. And I live in a big city, I live in Los Angeles, and like 95% of the people that live in LA have a dog, and I would 100% be walking like four dogs at once. Like I wanna be that dog walker. But you can easily charge your neighbors to walk their dogs, like $5 a walk. Another great way to make money this summer is to sell your items online. That could just be your clothes, your DIYs that you're making. You can easily sell them on any website online. There's like a bunch of apps nowadays where you can sell your used clothes. And all you have to do is grab your iPhone or your smartphone and just take photos of it. Make sure though, the biggest thing in selling something is make sure you have good lighting. There is nothing worse than wanting to buy something but not seeing good photos of it because the lighting is bad. So promise if you guys just have good lighting and a good like iPhone to take photos on, you're gonna sell something. <laughs> least the last thing you can do if you're bored this summer is take a bunch of photos with you and your friends you can just have little mini photo shoots where you take photos of them they take photos of you or just take photos of random things for fun you can take photos of palm trees learn how to edit I feel like just learning photography is really fun because you start to look at things a little bit differently also you don't have to live in like a cute neighborhood to take a bunch of photos I have literally taken photos inside a laundry mat inside bras inside a Home Depot and they turned out so cute so make that a challenge take photos in front of trash cans or just take photos in front of random plants that are in your neighborhood and you'll have a bunch of cute photos that you can post on Instagram so that way your friends can think that you actually did something when maybe you didn't do anything except walk 10 feet outside of your house so that is pretty much five easy things you guys can do this summer to just not be bored because being bored just isn't fun and you feel like you're wasting your life when you're a kid literally two months of your life seems super super long so make sure you guys are doing something useful with that time I just remember when when I was like 12 and 13, I was always so bored during the summer. I'd eat ramen, watch TV for hours and hours and hours. Like Wizards of Waverly Place was my jam. I would just watch that for like 10 hours straight, do nothing with my day and feel like a loser. This summer, my goal is to not feel like that. This summer, I wanna read books and travel and just do bigger and better things with my life and work a little bit harder on my YouTube channels. That is my goal for 2019. Let me know down below what your goals are. Also, if you guys made it to the end of the video, I wanna know. I'm actually shook that you guys made it to the end. You guys must have been really bored today. Just kidding. Um, so let me know what color shirt you're wearing right now. And that way I know you guys made it to the end of the video. I'm gonna be super proud of you guys for doing that because end of the video squad is like the best squad ever. So do that if you guys haven't already. Also follow me on Instagram at Miss Tiffany Ma. I've been super on top of my Instagram game and I'm gonna be even more on top of it. And also, can we just talk about the fact that I just made a 2016 Miss Tiffany Ma video. Like, I haven't made a video like this in such a long time, and it made me so happy to film a video like this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Ah, I'm sweating. Oh, my knees are sweating. Oh.
hot, hot, I'm sweating. Hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.